sweet. Talk about a flashback. I haven't had a Camaro in 25 years. Got a little damage there. The paint's all screwed up on the front. Skirt. Fucking, the sides look good. A little rust there. High rock lights on a Camaro RS. Got a little dent here. Tires are nice. Interior is not too shabby except for the seats. And it freaking runs. This has got to be like an 86, 88, 80, I don't know. That seat's nice. Front seat's nice. A little corrosion here. It's a freaking V6. It's a 2.8. Power trunk. Missing the radio. RS. 25th anniversary. Not bad. I haven't had a Camaro in forever. Oh, liking it. It's in wicked good shape. Why would you junk this car, you idiot? Watch this. Needs exhaust work. Runs and drives, dumbasses. My wife would kill me. What does she know? Oh, it's starting to pour. Look at it. Oh, what's up with that? Mm. Oh, not too bad. No T tops or nothing, but. What a cool car. I could have my old car back in blue instead of red. Let's see how many miles it's got. I have since measured out the uh, plates for the B pillar, this whole area. And I cut a piece out, and it's kind of like a cardboard. It's a little thicker. It's almost paneling, but it's not. I forget it's like wafer board or... But uh, I've also made some changes to it. Add a half inch, add inch and three quarter down, you know, move things down, up, over, flip the body lines. But um, I redrew a new one. Now this is the old one. It doesn't fit. I was close, but I had a little more of a curve and I had to move it down some. I left extra up top because that way I can add the roof over there to the curve. I'm going to make it two pieces. The, the bottom piece is going to go here to the top of the body line and a little bit up. And it'll have holes and then um, I'll connect it to the roof when the roof is there. But I moved the uh, bear claw position and all kinds of things on it. I made a little bumping it that holds it away from the frame at the right distance that we can cut off after. Uh, I made a wing that comes off and connects to the floor pan tab right there. But I made it too high. But this was a rough draft. Uh, it's been raining for five freaking days. It's nuts. Yeah, this is my cardboard patterns. Drinking iced tea, good stuff. Um, I had a few other things to work on. This is the original panel for the door. It's just a piece of thin, thin aluminum, which I really don't need anymore. That hurts. Um, I haven't done the other hinge yet. I will. At least I know this one works. I'm trying to get a B pillar set up, and then I can go to the other side. I think I'm going to pull the car out and turn it around. As um, soon as I get this build B pillar all set up, but that's it. I haven't been hanging. I'm just uh, relaxing a little bit. <coughs> the curve holds true. Let's see if I can get it in there. The curve of the body looks nice. Lines up pretty good. It's kind of funny. It's like a big rolling egg without the roof on it. So you can see it from this angle. Curl's nice, but what you're seeing is the top of the door. Alright. I gotta um cut another one. 
I need another sampler. I'm not going to cut anything in steel. I do have some 316th plate art here that should work. I got a big one and I got a couple little ones right here. Um, yeah, I think I'll pull this one and that one out. All right, we'll see what happens, guys. One more cardboard pattern, then we make it a metal. Of course, I only have enough metal to make one of them, so I'm gonna have to find some more 316 plate. I just went through my whole pile, there's nothing there. Um, maybe Hank's got some. Second shift is kicking my ass. I'm either like super tired or wide awake at the wrong time. Okay, have a good night. Also, I have my uh, I have my top, rock, top rocker plates, say that ten times fast, in uh, thin aluminum, which these go under the door. Um, you have to make them in steel too, but I can't really make them work until I have my A pillar. My B pillar is all ready to go. It's can't fix one until the other two are happy. You know, see that door? Of course not. But the area right here is going to attach to the top of this tube, and this panel will be it. But since things have changed, the curve is probably wrong. And uh, it's going to connect a little cleaner than that. But that should be a nice heavy edge. And, uh, and the rest is just flawless. Tranny hump, things like that. I haven't turned her over in a while. I should, huh? But for nothing. Here we go. Puffs of smoke. All right. Like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Have a good day. It's a day later. I had a scrap of eighth inch, and I cut a shape out. Uh, I had a few boo boos, nothing crazy. I had a bend I didn't need, and this hole for the striker latch is about half an inch off. But I'm not too shabby. This is just, I shouldn't have wasted it, but I wanted something. It was Friday, and uh, I wanted to get some kind of shape cut. I'm glad I did, because down there in the bottom, I need to actually kick it out to the left an inch to make up for this. Um, the body line dents, I use those as like a guideline. I gotta pull it up a little for it to show here. But yeah, I gotta kick the bottom out about an inch, and that'll take care of that little gap, and then I can start working on the bottom. Um, had a friend of mine sandblast something. Okay. I'm gonna put the other one together, it's right there. I might do that today. That look cool. Now what's missing? Well, the end caps, and I don't have that bottom pipe on right now. I've got straight pipes, literally, with uh, nothing. Came out pretty cool. But yep, I'm gonna put this one together. I think after I. Uh, Take some pictures and redraw this B pillar plate while I'm here, and it's fresh in my head as to what's going on. Um, I'm gonna lean a few things in, lean a few things out. 
but I made a tab, if you can see it, I made a tab so I could clamp it to the frame and then snap it off later on. This one will connect to the floor pan, of which I'd like to move that over a little bit, but not too much. And things are lining up, slowly but surely. I'm going to work on that door gap. I think I'm going to end up moving the body, the back end of it forward just a little bit. But this gap's closing, and it's starting to line up better. Um, I need, still need gas in my welder, and I just can't pull money out of the air, you know? Nice, huh? Well, did it on the inside. Looks like it's stainless steel from here. But it's not. It's just steel. I really like to see them uh, in white. Now, back in the days, they didn't have these pretty little rolled cones. They used to take the rear axle uh, from a Ford and unbolt it, split it, and weld pipes to it. And that's how they did it back then. If I could have done it that way, I would have, but I don't know. Chevy blowing smoke through a Ford axle. That's kind of funny. But uh, I'm going to measure up. I actually redrew the hole. See the little hole? I was off by like eh, half an inch. Bugger. Oh well. It's only eighth inch. I could leave it eighth inch and uh, go with that. But kind of tired. Trying to snap out of it. Got to get something done. Working second shift will kill you. All right, well, guys, um, this is the end of this video. Have a good day, cause uh, I'm gonna be working on the car all day, and this is gonna be another video. And I hope it's that exhaust right there, all ready to go. Looking good. Let's see if we can get you another angle. How's that? And I kept it away from the body. What I did is I laid a piece of steel under the frame and clamped it to it. And then I set the collar. And then I put a zero on it. I put a, uh, uh, what do you call it? I can't even remember anymore. I'm so tired. I put a bubble on it. Put it that way. So the top hole was straight up 90. That way if I designed something for the end plate or capped it off or whatever. Hey, you missed the spot. What the hell? <laughs> Looks good. Right, let's see what we can do.